In this SharePoint how-to video, you will see how you can connect a SQL Server database to a SharePoint list. To complete this, you need SharePoint 2010 and a SQL database. Start by creating the external content type. An external content type is a configuration that specifies what external system you would like to connect to and what operations you'd like to perform. At a minimum, we'll need a new read item operation and a new read list operation. If your database has more than 2,000 items in it, make sure to define a limit filter and specify a default limit of 2,000 items or less. Once the new external content type is saved, we can set the authentication for the external system. First in SharePoint Designer and then in the browser from Central Administration. When you're setting the permissions, make sure to propagate the permissions to the external content type. Now that we have the permissions set correctly, we can create our external list. Now select the list and preview. And voila, there you go. You've connected your list to a database. Thanks for watching this SharePoint how-to video.